traded on such a large scale from a company you cared about um, in this way, shape, and form uh, affects me. It affects the 482,000 other uh, VW owners. It's, it's horrendous all the way around, and, and I'm, I'm angry and mad, and it's safe to say I speak for everybody. Emotions are running high. A VW owner with me yesterday talking about Volkswagen's fake emissions scandal. Congress announcing an investigation into the matter. Tennessee Congressman Marsha Blackburn with me now. She is on the committee investigating. Welcome, Congressman. Glad to have you Thank with you. us. What is your number one goal here? If it gets to this point that taxpayers get paid back? What we want to know first and foremost is, was this intentional? Was it an accident? Was it something that was planned? Did they purposefully engineer and program these cars so that the emission system was off until it had to be triggered to turn it on? And, you know, there are items that happen with recalls all the time, and sometimes they're an accident. Sometimes, unfortunately, you do find intent. But what we want to do first and foremost is find out exactly what happened and if it was intentional, confirm that if it was or was not, and then look at how we move forward. We're in the process now of doing all the due diligence to actually launch the first committee hearing on it. So, Congressman, to what extent does the EPA in the U.S. and its equivalent body in Europe bear responsibility? Because from what I understand, it was basically left up to these car companies to monitor themselves, which just seems like asking for problems. Well, you're exactly right about that. And this is one of the reasons that you want to have light touch regulation that actually means something. Regulations that you're going to be following up on. See, what has happened, the bureaucracy becomes so large and they put out so many different rules that people say, well, they can't get around to enforcing all of these. Therefore, we're going to skirt them. And it appears at first glance that that is exactly what may have happened here. If you're going to put a law on the book or a rule on the book, then you have to make certain that there is a follow through for implementing that, then conducting enforcement and having penalties if it is disobeyed. All right. Well, we will see what you find. Yes, we will indeed. be listening for the proportional penalties. Congressman Marsha Blackburn, Absolutely. thank you so much for the time. Glad sure. to have you here.